Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how you can create a drawing filter like this for Instagram in the Spark AR Studio and also how you can control it by tapping so when you tap on the screen you don't draw anymore and when you tap again you start drawing again. So yeah, let's start creating this filter. Hey again, so let us create this drawing filter here in the Spark AR Studio. At first we have to create two objects in our scene and these objects are first a face tracker and the second object is a particle system. After we have created those two objects we have to add a material. So I will um, yeah, name this material color because this will um, set the color of the drawing here in our filter. So after we have done this we can drag and drop the face tracker into our batch editor and we get this ready-made patches here in our yeah, patch editor. So now let's move on to the color. I will set my color from the shader type from standard to flat and then I will set the color let's say to uh, blue. Okay so now let's move on. So at the moment the emitter is in the middle of our viewport and it's yeah moving around here very quickly and spreading the particles all around. We don't want this, so we click on the emitter object. Then we set here the speed to zero and also the percentage to zero. Then go down and set the tilt also to zero percent. So after this is done, the emitter doesn't move anymore. So we have to set our material for the emitter. So go down to the material, click on the little plus and set the color of yeah, what you created as the emitter material. So um, now we have a blue little square here in the middle. Um, I want this to be a circle but you can leave it as a square. So go to the shape option here of the emitter and set the shape from plane to a sphere. So now we have a yeah, round sphere here in the middle of our sc screen but yeah it's not moving. So to change this we have to attach our emitter to our face. So for this go to the emitter object, scroll all the way up and here click on the little arrow next to position. So when we, now we have extracted our position of the emitter, now we need an unpack patch and then we need the 3D position of our face tracker. Um, yeah, connect the output of the face tracker 3D position with the input value of the unpack. So after this unpack we need a pack patch and now we want to get rid of the set coordinate because otherwise our emitter will be in the back and not here in the front so at the screen and so we get rid of that and by doing that just only connect the x and the y here from the unpack to the pack patch and leave, um, leave the set here. So then just connect the output of the pack patch with the input of the emitter position and now our emitter is following our nose already but yeah at the moment it doesn't draw it yeah, looks like I don't know what but it's not right so to change that go to your emitter object and here set the birth rate let's say to 100 and now it is much smoother but it doesn't stay so to change that go down to the particle options to lifespan and set the lifespan let's say to 10 seconds and now we are drawing some cool lines here and um, yeah if you want it to be more smooth just set the birth rate, birth rate up I will set, set it to 200 now and yeah of course after 10 seconds the emitter is disappearing to change that just um, yeah, change the lifespan to 20. Yeah, if you want to change your the size of your pen, let's say pen, <laughs> um, yeah, you can change that here in the scale option. Just set the scale from 0.01 to 0.05 and now yeah, it's drawing much smaller, but yeah, I leave it to 0.01. And yeah, now I want to control this emitter by tapping on my screen. So when I tap, I turn it off and when I tap again, um, I turn it on. To do this we have to add a screen tab to our batch editor and then extract the birth rate here with this little arrow to your batch editor and then also add a if patch and then just connect them. So if 
the screen is tapped, we want to turn it off and if it's tapped again, we want to turn it on. So we need also a switch. Then we connect this with the flip here and we, I want that when I turn on the filter, I'm drawing. So I need a knot here. So it is default is drawing. So I will connect these and then here when it's drawing, I will have the birth rate to 200 and if not to zero, so nothing is, yeah, tra is drawing. So yeah, just connect the output to the birth rate of the emitter here and then just restart the filter. And yeah, when I'm, do, don't tap the screen, I'm drawing. And then when I tap, I'm don't drawing anymore. And when I tap again, I'm drawing again. So yeah, that's it. We have successfully created a drawing filter here in the Spark AR Studio. This filter is also perfect in combination with a random generator filter. So you can generate a random picture or a random word above the user's head and then say, draw this thing here over your head and the user can start drawing. If you want to know how to create a random generator, I will link it here or also in the video description. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, it would be cool if you subscribe to it. See you in the next video. Bye.